and welcome to Brooklyn's Barbie Bay and I am back today with not an unboxing but a reveal of course. I happened to go on Amazon early this week and I did another video where I um, went on there and decided to purchase some of these fashion doll packs. And I'm really curious because I want to know is the quality good number one, um, is it worth the price number two, and just to kind of see um, if it's something that I would like to add to my collection. Now, I'm doing this because I often purchase a lot of Barbie doll clothing and you guys, it can start to get really expensive. Right now, a two outfit Barbie pack is running you about 10 to $11 and a one outfit is like $5 and that's a lot of money if you're trying to build your collection. So I wanted to show people an inexpensive way and a couple of brands that you can check out on Amazon and see if this can kind of start your jumpstart your collection of doll clothes for the times that you want to dress your doll up and you don't have a lot of money to spend, right? Okay, so today I am going to be doing, I bought two packs, but I think I'm going to do one um this one is from barwa and then this one um i think is it doesn't say who it's from i don't even know okay but i will put the information in the description down below because i'm quite sure it's on my amazon information it would have been nice if like this package is really cool really cool because it's giving you all their information and if you go into amazon and put barwa in and put doll clothes i guarantee you it's going to pop up for you this pack was $19.99, and it also was an Amazon Choice pack. So that's why I got that one, because it seemed to be very, very popular, and so I'm very interested to see what's inside and what we're going to get for that $19.99. This particular pack was $14, and it was a borrow pack, and I am excited to kind of see. Here you go. And that's the pack. Very nice packaging. Love the fact that they put their information on their packaging. So I'm really interested to see what's going on and as you can see I've got four doll stands behind me and that means that what we've got four tributes that I'm going to be introducing you to to try on these fashion packs as we go through it so our first doll that we're going to talk about <clears throat> is um a doll that I actually got off of Amazon and she's not a Barbie doll I don't even know what her brand is but I absolutely loved her when I saw her so as I introduce these tributes I want you to understand that I'm looking at different dolls different doll sizes different doll brands to see who can wear what okay so she is not a Barbie doll but she is absolutely gorgeous and I call her Tina so I found her on Amazon. I think when I bought her, she was like $10. I've had her for some years, but she is super cute and super edgy. She's got a very small frame. She is articulated, so and she has movement at the wrist. She has movement at her elbow and at her um and at her shoulder. She has movement at her knee, but she does not have and look at those cute boots, you guys. Yes sister was slaying and she does but she does not have movement um at the ankle and that's okay so this is my cute girl tina she was uh, she has the same thing she came um with when i bought her she did come naked okay so i had to I had to clothe my girl um but she has had this really cute necklace on and, and these cute earrings um and i kept that on her but i've always loved her fro it's really cute it's edgy and so i decided to make tina one of our tributes today to help us try on some clothing so that's your for our slim doll we have your girl Tina okay number two is one of my absolute favorite dolls and ta -da -da -da, she is our made to move plus size we never really get a lot of made to move articulated plus size chocolate baby with the beautiful beautiful look at those lips y'all look at the color of those lips gorgeous i think this is one of my favorite this actually um was a b50 is it b52 b54 um doll it was a bmr 1959 doll um and i think it was in the first series she has a little jumpsuit that um i bought um from barbie and she's got her pink sneakers on but we're going to have her as our curvy girl trying on some of these outfits so there she is, and I call her Latanya. So give it up for Latanya. She's going to be Marlon R. Curvy. She is our tribute for that line. Next, I have, I have a huge collection, and one day I really am going to have to do a video, but I want you all to get into this Integrity doll. And first of all, 
when I started collecting Integrity was in 2019. I'm a huge collector. I'm a part of Integrity Toys, that whole um, club. So I have a lot of them. But this is one of my very favorite ones and one of the first ones that I got. And I want you to get into that face. This is why Integrity does what they do. Can you see that? Mama is giving you face. Face card does not decline on Integrity doll. Okay? And they are all beautiful. I'll have to do a video on my Integrity dolls. This one I just threw a little outfit on one time because she was naked. And I was trying to try on clothes and see what she can wear because their feet are huge. So um, she may not be able to put on the shoes. I guarantee you she won't be able to put on the shoes because she's more like a foot that can wear um, rainbow high shoes. So I might have to dig over here in my little rainbow high um, section and grab her a pair of heels or something so sister ain't just sitting there. But she's taller as you can see than the other dolls. And I wanted to see if some of these clothing um, get the camera, can fit her too. And last but not least, I have one that I'm going to actually open because I just found this at um, Walmart the other day. I don't know if anyone has seen these dolls. They're the Hair Amazing dolls. And I guess this is their um, budget line. It was only $4 and some change. She's kind of hippie, but small and hippie. Like her body's a little different. So I definitely want to get her out of this box and give you all a better look. Okay, so I've got her out of the box. And you know what, y'all? She's not articulated at all, but she does not disappoint. She's very pretty. She's a pretty girl. And look at that face. Her hair is absolute. For $4, for $5? This is amazing for $5. And I love her little bathing suit that she comes in. That is really cute. Okay, she's serving. I love this doll. This is a cute... Listen, go to Walmart. Look at the section with the dolls at. They had all different kinds, you guys. This is, like, I guess it's a swim line. I just saw her and was like, wow, she's cute. Let me grab her. Um, as you can see, her body is very different from the other dolls. And that's the reason why I wanted to see if any of these clothes would even fit her. But she is a pretty girl. For $4.98, you guys, you can't beat that. So she is our tribute as well. Um, and she's, I'm not sure like what kind of shoes. I guarantee I'm looking at her feet and they're probably not going to be able to fit, um, the shoes and this but i want to see if she can fit some of the rainbow high shoes maybe possibly you know i might have to just i have a whole rounder right here guys so don't fret i got my whole rounder shoes um a lot of my rainbow high shoes and stuff like that so we'll see you know if i need to put something on one of the girls i don't want anybody to feel left out but if we can't find shoes we can't find shoes right Okay, so let's get started because we've got some clothes we've got to dig into. We've got some different bodies that we're going to be trying to style. And I'm going to start with the Amazon's Choice bag. And let me get this open and we'll start going through it. Okay, so here we go. First things first, um, when I open the pack, I have a pack of shoes. So let's get into it and see exactly what type of shoes we got. And... I'm going to dump them down here and then show them. Up. Oh, okay. We got shoes and we've got hangers. So it looks like they gave us some pink hangers for the clothing. Um, it is, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it gave you ten hangers, ten pink hangers. I'm going to put those to the side because we're not going to need them right now. Then we've got shoes. So let me go through. We've got a pair of pink, um, they look like, like open boots. Can you see that? They're like open boots a little bit, but they're pink. Kind of cute. Okay, so that's one pair of shoes. If they fall, they're going to fall. Then we, I'm not, I don't really like these as much, but I mean, we'll see. Um, these are like some Mary Jane, kind of like, they look like little generic Mary Jane, kind of. But they're like a little heel, have a nice little heel on it give you that side of it okay I'll make sure I focus then we have um, some pink which I don't know where they would be going with these on but okay some um, purple ballerina shoes okay or our third pair I like these red heels that you're gonna see next um, these are pretty cute kind of I think I got these in yellow from like the last pack I had so those are super cute some little red heels okay then you have another pair of pink um, 
little heels with like little spikies on them it looks like see that those are kind of cute okay so you've got another pair of pink lay them right there these are some cute um and different i'm going to show you how they look at that like some purple heels but they got a lot going on like some wings on the top of it it's very different maybe some little avant-garde but they're purple very cute well, I don't know they're different I don't know I wouldn't say you know I wouldn't then you have a pair of yellow or we can call it mustard whichever one you like um, heels you can never go wrong with a little pair of mustard heels okay then you have another pair of like purplish like um, iridescent purple and these also have like some wings on the on the back of them okay and then let's see you have some sling back purples they like purple in this particular pack huh trying to make sure I can let you see these little little wings like little heels there okay and lastly you have a pair of like clear and these are like orangey pink um hold on let me get them in my hand right kind of like orangey pink color but they're like that clear like heel those are kind of cute i mean you could these could really go with a lot of different things okay so out of the bag we have a total of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so you have ten pairs of shoes right off the bat you know that you can um have for your doll and you've got ten hangers so um not bad at all not bad at all um when i go further into oh wait a minute okay wait a minute we still have more shoes I did not know. <laughs> so you actually have two bags of shoes in this play set. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Okay, let me push these these back over here because we're going to be using this table to pick shoes to, you know, get our dolls together. These are cute. So look at these. These are like green, uh-oh, green sandals. And I just dropped one, so you have to. We've got green sandals. Those are super cute. I have to be careful because I'm dropping stuff. Sorry about that. So we've got a pair of gladiator. I call those like the short gladiator sandals. Then you have another pair in gold. So you've got like a gold black gladiator sandal for those dolls that have, you know, um, the feet that don't have like the high heel feet. So at least you have those. Then you have... A pair of purple okay you don't have to worry listen if you're going somewhere you you, could, you have a choice of sandals okay so you've got a purple pair of gladiator sandals then wait a minute hold up you have a pink pair of gladiator sandals mm. and a yellow pair of gladiator sandals I like this because I like the gladiator sandals and I have a couple of dolls that have you know like the flat feet and these are really cute on your made to move dolls because their feet can get in them as well. Then you have, so you've got five sandals. You've got a pair of white sneakers. Okay. You've got a pair of blue sneakers. Okay. You've got stars on the side of these. Okay. The other ones have stars on the side of them as well. Just to, so it looks like they're all the same, just different color. Okay. Then you have a pair, which I hardly see this, you guys. So I'm really happy. You've got a pair of black sneakers. Mm-hmm. Black sneakers. Okay, they're doing it. Then you have a pair of pink sneakers. Very cute. And lastly, you have a pair, another pair of pink sneakers, but they're like a different, like a Converse like a little uh you know slide in pink sneaker so not like the other ones but it's you know it's a pink sneaker so you've got an extra 10 pair of shoes five sandals and five sneakers so i think you have you have 20 pair of shoes which is pretty good you guys and you know you have heels sandals sneakers so very 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 versatile very very glad about that 
Okay, the next thing we have is we have a bag, it looks like, of little dresses. So we're getting ready to start trying stuff on in a moment. But let me show you what the first thing we will be trying on. And it looks like we've got some small dresses. So let's look at what these look like. Okay, so you've got the first one is a lime green dress with yellow, um, what looks like to be like rainbows, but they're all rainbows, or they could be like that um, Wi-Fi sign, it looks like a little bit. It has um, silver straps on it, and it Velcros in the back, okay? The second one is a pink little small dress with white polka dots. The next one is a floral black dress with um, kind of like organza as the sleeves and it's green. And then you have um, roses or, or red flowers and green vines on it, like a floral dress. And the fourth dress is a pink um, with purple and like a darker pink um, kind of, it looks like it's red, but it's not red, um, but it's like a darker pink um, with organza straps. And it's also like clear okay, or I don't know what you call it, sheer organza. Okay, so we have four. We have four dolls. Let's put it on the dolls, style them, and see how it fits. Okay, so now we are back, and we have the girls dressed. Okay, so I have a couple things to talk about and to say. We're going to start with this beauty here. Um, so the dress is kind of cute. Not too flattering to me. I mean, it just does nothing in the bust area, like, or even in the waist area. But it does fit all the way around closes nicely whereas the last fashion pack I had um, didn't close as nice in the back and then you could also see a lot of the um, the velcro um, I paired this with the little crystal orangey pink heels because there really wasn't anything in there um, whereas the last fashion pack all of the shoes matched you know the dresses that they came with so that was one of the pluses and so this is the slimmer doll um, and you know it was okay i mean it's a, it's okay dress it's, it's cute um on on her when it came to the plus size doll it was almost like an epic fail and from here it looks wonderful doesn't it i mean i paired this really cute dress it's beautiful on her skin color um and the sleeves look great the bust line looked better because she does have like a little bust and i paired it with um some sandals because it was the only yellow um, thing and then her feet you know would allow for her to put on sandals but to get it on her you all bam bam completely a fail like it as you can see it literally ripped trying to get it over her hips um it did clasp here in the waist but the hip area is going to be a problem for the plus size doll this is a miss for me um because i feel like uh it's 2022 barbie has been making Kirby dolls and um, other manufacturers have been making dolls with clothing that um, is for everyone. And so right now with these dresses, none of my Kirby dolls would be able to fit them um, because they don't fit here. And the last pack that I opened, all of their clothing did fit the Kirby girl. So um, just wanted to say that it doesn't fit her. And you can see what happens when you try to force it on her. Um, on my Integrity doll, I felt like it fit. I did pair this with a pair of um, the Rainbow High shoes because she can wear Rainbow High shoes because of how their feet is. Um, it's just slimmer, as you can see. I just want to show you that they can wear the Rainbow High shoes. So if you ever get an Integrity doll, depending on the kind that you get, she can absolutely wear their, their shoes and boots and everything. Um, so this dress looked really nice on her. She, her bosom. Um, look is ample enough so that you know it gives some uh, silhouette to her um, it closes in the back um, it does puckle here but it doesn't open with the puckle and this dress um, I guess I just didn't it's you know it's not constructed you know 100% like great but and the fabric isn't great it feels like that um, plastic like it's fabric but it's plastic you hear it yeah I don't know if that's some twins polyester or not, but um, it definitely, um, it, you can tell it's very um, inexpensive, extremely inexpensive. But um, it looks nice on her, and she definitely could fit the dress. On our um, new 
hair amazing doll she also can fit the dress i thought at first she wasn't going to be able to like it would be way too big on her and in a way it is because look how the straps are but it does fasten and fit for her in the back she also can wear rainbow high shoes and although i know these shoes don't necessarily match 100 percent uh oh her hair shitty um it does they do fit and stay on her feet so um just to let you know that the rainbow high shoes do fit on these dolls um just to let you know the dress looks okay for, on her for me um and she is hippie remember she's hippie around this area so um there was a, a not even a struggle to get it over on her hips um but i guess she's not as hippie as barbie is um excuse me as the made to move doll is okay okay so now that we have discussed the small dresses let's go on to the next pack that came in um this clothing pack so it looks like what we have here are pants it looks like and shirts so i'm going to start with the pants the first thing you have is a cup of uh some light light washed denim stretch pants okay so we've got a pair of light washed denim stretchy these are stretchy pants next one we have is another pair of stretchy pants and these are like denim but it has um it looks like you know a design on them like kind of like doily it looks like i don't know really what that is but it's a pair of stretch pants that are designed that are doilied or has some type of something on there um then you have a shirt that says cute on it it's gray okay then we have another shirt that is um it says banny hs I don't know is that Benny like high school I don't know but um it has strawberries on the front velcros on the back and that pack you also have a pair of what looks like denim shorts that's different these look kind of different but let's see then we also have um a shirt which is uh this is kind of cute because it looks like um it if you look the pockets are on it it looks like the buttons but it's like a shirt like it's not really it's a faux you know faux shirt but that's kind of cute i like that lastly i have actually have like a little dress and it's um you know screen printed on so it's like a shirt screen printed with the dress which is pretty cute this is different um in the last fashion pack that i had it was pants and then you know just tops and then this four set seems to be like a little dress some stretchy all of it is stretchy material so let's go ahead and see how the dolls look in these um pieces okay so here the dolls are now with the outfits on and i'm pleasantly surprised everyone was able to fit something so that's absolutely amazing as you can see with the first doll um it's not as flattering i mean i paired it with a pair of the pink little boots um it's some capris it's cute i don't like the shirt i mean at all really i think it could have you know used a different shirt but you know what it's not a bad uh set of clothing you know and it did fit her quite well she looks good and you can style mm -hmm. it with whatever you want to style it with i kept her necklace on but um yes I, this is the first outfit so I definitely feel like um, because they're stretchy, the plus size dolls would be able to fit this as well. Hold on, I'm trying to get everybody back on their stands and they acting like they loosey gooseys. Okay, the second one um, is the plus size doll. And I pleasantly, I did like this. So let me show you. I paired it with a pair of the blue sneakers. Um, the shorts, I kind of pulled them up, but they can come back down. I just didn't like the way they looked back down a little bit. Um, as you can see every it does fit i mean she's got a little bit of a donk back there so of course you're going to have um you know it's not going to look 100 percent, you know the best but the shorts do fit they they're not like tight on the on the thigh leg part here but so you can scrunch them up or you can bring them down i i mean the shirt is cute this is the only shirt that i thought kind of looked really good with it so um yeah so for the plus size dolls definitely could wear it and so you know that your regular dolls could wear it as well so it does look, I think the colors look good on her. Um, and so I'm pleased with that one. On our Integrity doll, as you can see it, so she's long. And so um, I just wanna say that it does fit her.
So it's going to be like a midriff on her, which is okay. Um, and then the pants come like capris. I did still keep the purple shoes since she had purple in her shirt um, on her little heels. So um, I like it. You know, I wouldn't put these two together like, you know, I'd probably find different things to match with that because they really don't go together. But these are the choices that they gave me because this is all that they had, y'all. It's all that they had. So... But I'm I'm okay with it. It looks good on the Integrity doll, so I'm really glad. And lastly, I really like this one. This is probably my favorite piece, um, and it looks good on her. It's a little big on her, which means that it definitely would fit on a plus-size doll, probably. And also, it would fit on a regular size. It probably would be a little bit bigger and a little shorter, and that's cute. I paired it with a pair of Rainbow High sneakers, um, and I think it looks amazing on her. Um, kind of makes her look even more youthful, so it's really cute. In the back, it just... Um, Velcros but it's a really cute um, little dress top and I'm probably gonna see how it looks on a plus size doll like when I'm playing around with it a little bit later but it absolutely fit her and the sneakers look great so remember these two dolls on the end their feet are a lot bigger and they can wear rainbow high shoes whereas the other dolls can kind of wear um, the the shoes that came in the pack um, she has high heeled feet and the plus size made to move doll feet can go high heels or um regular flat shoes okay so the next thing that came in the pack that i wanted to go through was um it came with four i call them like little party dresses i guess you want to say like you know short party dresses so you have this one which is pretty cute um it has like a little faux belt on it with a um silver um buckle it is a half top dress really cute little um number i like this so pleasantly surprised i do like this one that's the first one the second one is kind of like a one shoulder okay a little cocktail kind of like dress um it's sparkly and it has gold around the um bottom of the dress and around um the hem of the dress you have gold and at the top i wish i could have put gold up here but they didn't it's just um the pink in the back is uh not the same material the, that little stiff material but very cute like a little cocktail dress going out that's the second one the third one um kind of reminds me of the last you remember that stretchy dress on the other material in my other um video so um looks like they use the same material but made it a bodycon dress kind of with some black straps so we'll see how that works but it's cute okay and then the fourth dress we have is this long pink dress, one shoulder. It's got like some tool at the end of it. Very, very iridescent, you know, shimmery. One shoulder, very cute. So we're going to go ahead and try these dresses on the ladies. And we're going to come back and see how they fit. Okay, so we are back now and we have the dolls dressed. And everyone looks pleasantly, surprisingly beautiful. I love all of the dresses. Um... And let's just go through them. So the first one we have is the pink one. And so um, as you can see, it's fitting very nice. I don't think this one would probably go on a plus size doll because it is more fitted of a dress. Um, and then um, she's got that one strap across the back that's really cute, Velcroed. Um, I just placed it with the same heels because this particular pack, um, I'm not really happy with their shoe selection that they gave you because it's not like a lot of dressy shoes more so um the down shoes i call them down shoes um but the dress is really cute and i do like this on her she probably um the other girls probably could wear it as well just so that you know this one i was it's probably my favorite out of this bunch um it's very very cute and i love the fact that the plus size doll fit right in it with no problems um and it looks great on her the colors are really pretty on her i do like this and it's strapped in the back nicely. Didn't, you know, do that whole rip thing. Um, and I paired it with the purple heels because I didn't have a lot of options. She does have that dark purple in there, but I would have loved to have paired it with, you know, a little nicer pink shoe or something to bring out the belt. Um, but it is a very cute um, dress and uh, every size doll probably could put this on. And I'm, I'm glad to know that the plus size doll could wear this one as well. So I do like this dress. Um, I really like this one on the Integrity doll. It fit her perfectly. Um, for her shape, it looks amazing. Back of it looks amazing. And um, where the other one like, has a cross strap, this one just had the, the one strap to the side of the shoulder. 
um, very cute and shimmery on her and, and because she's a tall doll I think this really accentuates um, her height um, especially where the tool ends at so it kind of makes it seem like she's not that tall and I just put on the um, rainbow high heels they don't the exact color match but it was in the family so love this on the integrity doll for her height it looks amazing um, lastly we have the hair amazing doll and this one wasn't um, my fave because it's too big for her really as you can see it's really big for her up top um, but there was no other dress to pair and put on her um, it this definitely could go with a plus size uh, girl but if it was you know a little bit tighter then yes but um, it's a cute dress for one of the dolls to wear it's just it just didn't fit this particular doll because of her frame okay so but it is a cute little dress and I want it to just kind of still show the dress um, since there are only four and I really wanted to show the other dolls um, with those dresses on so I wanted to make sure that they could all wear it but I'm pretty sure everybody except for the plus size could wear these uh, these two dresses here this one is more straight you know and so is this one so I think the smaller dolls um, would wear those dresses but I think collectively the dresses are super cute and I do like them so moving on so now we've gotten so far let's recap we've got 10 um, hangers we've got 10 pair we've got 20 excuse me pair of shoes we had four dresses we had um, four outfits I'm going to call those pants and shirts and shorts and shirts and that um, section outfit. So we had four of those. And um, now we have four cute little party dresses. And you said, Ashiki, you know, what? what's next, right? So the next thing we have, it seems here, is this little plastic bag. And I'm thinking this might be, let's see. Let's see what we have in here. Because I'm thinking this probably like some shorts or something because it looks it looks small whatever it is but let's see okay so we've got now some bathing suits it looks like or some bathing pieces okay <clears throat> so they gave us three bathing suits so the first one is this multicolored one which is cute it's a one piece bathing suit multicolored very cute I do like that okay so we've got that then you've got a two-piece set which is purple and this, uh, here's the bottoms that go to it. That's pretty cute. So it's like a bandu top. Um, so it's got a, you know, pull over on each. So this one's no Velcro, it's got a pull over, okay? And then the third piece, um, again, I wanna say this is a pink bandu top. And then it gave you like these uh, plaid short, like, uh, I don't really like it together, but I guess it's that color blocking thing that people are doing now, but it's plaid bathing suit bottoms and then the pink bandu top. So I only have three that came in this. So what I'm gonna do is just pick three of the girls that I'm gonna showcase this on and we're gonna go from there. Okay, so now we have the bathing suits and they do not disappoint. Um, even though I said at first I wasn't like a fan of this one, I really do like it now that I have it on. it. Let me say something, the bandu tops, you know, just make sure you secure the boobs because <laughs> it was kind of hard keeping it, you know, up. So um, <clears throat> I'm just going to keep her on her stand because I don't want to have a nip slip and, you know, uh, have a problem. But this is how this bathing suit looks. Um, and there's the back of it. Very cute. Um, I think that this also could fit on a plus size Barbie because they are very stretchy. Just, just so you know, um, the bandu tops, the bottoms, they definitely, I think, would fit on a plus size doll. So I was glad about that. I love this one piece and it absolutely fits amazing on the plus size doll, just so that you can see the back of it. Um, and the, oh, my nails got caught. And the front of it, very cute on her. Um, if she had a little sarong, that would be cute. But I love this. Love the colors on her. I love vibrant co colors on her dark chocolatey skin. It is just my absolute favorite. She's one of my favorite dolls. So I'm really glad that this um, one piece worked out on her. And then also on the Integrity doll, absolutely gorgeous. And this purple just really accented her beautiful purple um, locks. Um, and it looks great on her. Her stomach looks amazing. Look at that. Belly button and all. 
you know what integrity just gives you everything isn't she gorgeous um and then the back of the bathing suit looks great on her as well so on the integrity doll um this looks amazing okay so i looked i chose these three and as you can see i didn't do the hair adorable doll but for our next set of outfits we'll bring her back in but we're still not done so right now we have bathing suits we have shoes we have pants sets we've got little dresses we've got cocktail dresses and i'm still pulling stuff out of this bag so remember guys the price point for this is $19.99 everything that you're seeing that i'm showing you on these dolls all of this comes together and the price was $19.99 on amazon so <clears throat> the last it looks like last but not least oh look they gave me a little thank you card too so that's really cute um Last but not least, it looks like we have some princess dresses and I'm going to go through each one and show you. So I have a very, a half, uh, oh, this is kind of cute. Reminds me of that first one that, I mean, like a little cocktail dress one. So this one is um, a sleeveless bodice top. It is pink and it has um, gold, like kind of stars around it. That's very, very pretty. I like that. That's the first one. The second one is also a cutie. Okay, so this is different. <clears throat> it is yellow, or I want to say it's yellow. It has the two um, pieces of lace as your uh, straps. But then it has like an organza, some roses on here. Um, very poofy, beautiful yellow dress. Very cute. Okay, so that's the second one that you get. The third one that you get <clears throat> is blue. Oh, this is pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? That is very pretty. And it's got like a lace on top of it, as you can see that. And it's blue, like that light powder blue. Um, and then it's got like this, uh, it's also um, sleeveless. And it has like a stretchy bodice top here. Very, very pretty. But they were going somewhere. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. That's your third dress. Your fourth dress is this pink one. Oh, this is gorgeous. Also a half. Uh, oh this is gorgeous you guys look at this pink okay and then it also has like an overlay as well you can see my hand through this it's an overlay over the pink part of the dress it's sleeveless very pretty oh this is a gorgeous gown very very pretty so that's the fourth gown and the fifth gown is this white one <clears throat> with a uh, tool and as you can see it's um the bodice is very pretty and then it's got like purple and then it's got pink I think I have to fluff it out a little bit more in order to like get into it and blue um, you can see that I just want to back it up a little bit so you can see so you've got five beautiful gowns along with this so let's try these gowns on these dolls and see how it fits I'm so excited to see this okay so this is our last pieces of the the um, whole entire wardrobe and as you can see the girls are dressed in the gowns and so I think that pleasantly everyone could fit one of the gowns I did not um, I tried to do this one with her but it would have been a little too short so I didn't want because the purple would have kind of brought it out but just want to let you know that's why I didn't pick that one because somebody tried to be like well the purple one would have matched better but it was a little shorter and I didn't really want to show shoes um, because like I told you guys before the shoe selection I think is you know not really helping any of the dresses so um, I just chose to kind of keep them barefooted and the dresses cover their feet so you wouldn't really know so I'm going to start at this side over here with our hair adorable doll. As you can see, she's got the yellow dress on. Um, it fit really good. It covers her completely um, in all actuality. It's a little big in the top, but not too big in the top, right? So hold on one sec second. I forgot I got to take her off the stand to kind of show you. Um, so it's not too big in the top, as you can see, but it is, you know, it's got a lot of room up here. I just tried to kind of like close it as best I could in the back, as tight as I could in the back. Um, but she is a little bit smaller in the top area, but it's not so bad that she couldn't wear it to the inauguration ball, um, or wherever she's going and she needs to get dressed up. She definitely would, um, look perfectly fine in that. And so I chose the yellow because she's got those yellow tresses in her hair. And so the, the dress is really cute on her. It reminds me like a little bit of Belle um, from Beauty and the Beast a little bit. You know, like that whole yellow thingy. So I thought that was a, a cute little um, 
number. Then we have the pink. I did like this, and this was a lot longer on her than the other dress was because she's a tall doll. And you know, Barbie does also have tall dolls just like Integrity. So um, this looked amazing on her, I thought. Um, I, I think on all of them, like the bust area wasn't as flattering because it doesn't seem like it's like constructed the best. But you know, for what you're getting, I, it's not a problem at all. Something that you're going to be putting on and taking off, as you can see, the back is not like even hemmed correct, you know, together right. But it's a cute dress, you know. It's it's um, for the price point and with all you're getting, I wouldn't complain at all. So it's a really cute dress and it's long and comes down, you know, over her feet. So you didn't, you don't see that. Okay, so that's the second dress okay so then we have um hold on a second then we have the blue dress um this one i thought i was gonna love even more um it fit perfectly on her it's just not flattering like i said these um uh, i call them bandu top dresses or the you know strapless dresses just don't like it's kind of you can see it's kind of not really flattering here like it, I don't know if it should have came down a little bit more it's missing something I don't know um, but it did it does fit um, it's not you know it's just a regular puckling that it does um, maybe this should have flared a little bit more I'm not sure what it is but um, it is a cute dress and it does come it's a very long dress it comes down over um, her feet um, but it's really cute and a plus size doll definitely can wear it I think um, a plus size doll could wear all of these uh, gowns um, quite frankly I'm not sure but I believe so um, and then lastly this one was really cute on her and it is this one is more that that fabric so this one probably wouldn't when it, the ones I noticed like with this I don't know what kind of fabric this is it's just I don't want to just say cheap but it is but anywho um, it uh, it might you could try it out on a plus size doll I'm not sure if it would actually fit matter of fact I'll play around with it like later to see but some of these dresses right here I don't I don't know if they would if they don't have like that given it if they would be okay but this is a really cute dress I did, I probably like this one the best especially because it's sparkly I love anything with sparkles and glitter so um I thought this looked really nice on her as well and I have like tons of Barbie shoes so I would really have to go in my stash and style her but I try to use what's here um, and what comes in the pack so you can have a better idea. But I'm quite sure if you have your own stuff, you know, you definitely could style these dolls any way you like. Um, the takeaway from this is I, I am very pleasantly um, pleased with a lot of the pieces. Not so much with the shoes. I, you know, the hangers are nice. I don't necessarily use hangers, but that's pretty cool that they gave them to you. Um, I love the bathing suits. That probably was my favorite. Um, anything stretchy, I'm glad that they put those pieces in there so that your dolls can have... Um, some options. I think that uh, even when you have cheaper lines, you're going to have to go with the times and you're really going to have to start making things that are inclusive to all body shy, bo excuse me, body types and shapes um, for our dolls so that everyone has something to play with and not just, you know, something that's slim. And I know it's cheaper to make it like that, but you got to either use different fabric or you're going to have to get creative. Um, I love the fact that there are some short dresses and there's some cocktail dresses and there's some variety. So I definitely would give this this um you know this set right here even though the smaller you know dresses didn't give you know what it needed to give for the plus size doll i'm going to get a set give it a seven out of ten um for this set giving it a seven out of ten because i there are some things i like there are some things you know fabric wise color wise i don't like and the biggest thing for me that was just upsetting is the fact that the shoes they're not a variety of shoes that would match the outfits or the clothing or the shirts didn't really match the shorts whereas the first um set of clothing that i reviewed it did everything kind of went together and you saw that in your collection so it looked like someone took the time in that collection to make sure your pieces were cohesive and you had enough options even with the 10 pair of shoes that you got you know a plus for the shoes here is that we got sandals and we got sneakers and I got a couple uh, a pair of blue sneakers which I've never seen before and black sneakers so you know I do appreciate some of the things that they gave us but when it came down to heels and some of the things that could have um, you know really made some of these outfits pop we just wasn't given that so a 7 out of 10 I still think is really great I think the branding needs to be on their packaging so that if someone's doing a doll review for you they can refer back to you but this was this collection was Amazon's choice and it was $19.99 um, 
on Amazon. So I'll put the information in the link below. Thank you guys for staying up with me tonight and reviewing these doll outfits and clothing. I'm always going to be doing doll reviews with clothing um, from things that I find anywhere just so that we can all have options. And I also like to give um, homage and to, to showcase the the underdog because everybody can't be a Mattel or MC MGA or you know um, have the opportunity to make these really great clothing that costs us so much so it feels good to be able to also have some low budget um, options and some things for your kids to play with that you don't have to worry about them messing up and you feel okay because for all of this for $20 I ain't got no problem with something being lost or or losing it or you're messing up we're okay in that okay guys don't forget to like this video please hit the subscribe button and leave a comment positive vibes only you guys have a wonderful night see you later